What's up guys, this is going to be a real quick overview of how you could wire your cabin DC. I haven't really seen too many videos that cover putting a panel in for a DC system. So that's what this is here. Uh, this one is called a Blue C Systems. You can get it on Amazon. Um, get that out of the way. So basically the way I have this set up is this is your charge controller. Your panel's coming in here, your battery's here, and your load here. Now off your load, you're going to have your negative and your positive. I do recommend putting a 6 gauge wire for this, which I'm going to do eventually, and 10 or 12 through the whole cabin on your circuits. But um, So you have your positive here, negative here. These are all your circuits. These are your positives. Those are all your negatives. And then I have everything fused out. So you can see that's a 15 amp fuse, 5, 15. So each circuit is going to have its own... Um, its own fuse which is nice so that if you have an issue you can isolate it um, rather than having everything on one circuit if you have a break anywhere in that circuit you're screwed so um, you know just as a little example here I have this little you know charger something like this would go in just charge my Milwaukee batteries or what have you but so you have your positive here 15 amp fuse negative here if I pull this fuse uh, this circuit wouldn't work there'd be a break in it so um, and if there is still over amp, 15 amps, boom, this would pop and protect the circuit, protect the components. Um, so it's really a great system. You could sort of think of it like your AC uh, panel at home. It's, you know, with, with all the breakers in it, it is sort of a much simpler DC system. It's the same concept. You have all your circuits that are fused. So I just have all that run through the, through the cabin. You know, I got some lights here. Uh, on a little switch so yep and I've got another light up here another switch here oh, when you walk in you can hit that and I have um, another uh, circuit here and I did run AC as well over here just so I could have the option in the future um, and then I have another circuit up to the loft up there um, so that's really it guys. You would just basically run your wires again, all 10, 10 or 12 gauge through your walls, like you would with the AC system, but it's just all DC. Um, so just wanted to throw that out there just to kind of give someone an overview of how I did it. It's been working good for me. Uh, this was really the key, this guy right here, that's going to keep, you know, all your circuits tidy. You'll know where everything is. I probably will go around and mark each circuit too. It's not something I've done yet, but just wanted to give someone some ideas if they're looking to, to how their to how <laughs> how to wire their system DC. You know, if you're living off grid like me. So hope this helps somebody. If you have any questions, feel free to throw them down in the comments section below, and I'll do my best to get back to you. All right, have a great day.